What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Don Good. Welcome back to another edition of the DGR. For those that don't know and you're tuning in for the first time, I'd like to say welcome. And the DGR stands for the Don Good Report. Shout out to all my subscribers and all the folks out there that's viewing my videos. I definitely appreciate all the positive feedback and support y'all. Even your boy, continue to do so because you know what? At the end of the day, I do this for y'all as well as I do it for myself. All right, let's jump into the review i got something special for y'all today here we go that's right it is the kd4 n-e-r-f nerf mm, mm, mm. three words y'all crucial 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 wow here's the box we're gonna start off by talking about that you see the kd35 on the top of the lid you see the artwork and stuff all around the box, the Nerf artwork that they did. We're gonna take a look at the inside of the box. You see KD right there. You see the Nike swoosh with the splash around it. The Nerf lettering right there, the logo. You see the splattered artwork on the inside of the box. They did a really good job with this. Um, I didn't mind paying the extra, what was it, 20 bucks um, You know, for this release right here. This was the only one that was released recently that came in a different box from the others. Um, and they put the time and effort into this. Like I said, this is close to the original box um, as far as artwork wise. Of course, the other box was like much bigger. Um, it came with a hoop, um, came with a, a little Nerf basketball. And if I'm not mistaken, it might've come with a net or so. But I was okay with getting this one right here without all of that because what I did was I went on and ordered a completely um, new Nerf set, you know, totally separate from this. And I'll get into that and show y'all the ball, hoop, and net in a few. All right, let's jump to the shoe now. Here they are. Whew. Some may say this is a grill. Some may say it's not a grill. This is definitely a grill for me. Um, these came out in 2011. They were a absolute problem you hear what i'm saying a problem um i remember just being outside looking at the uh the line that was out there it was like over a hundred and something people out there and it was a raffle and when the raffle was over it was only like about maybe four to six winners i'm thinking that actually got the shoe so you know how that story went and there was a lot of sad faces out there man for this shoe so after that, just trying to obtain them and get them was just crazy as far as like pricing and stuff. I mean, people wanted uh, close to a thousand and up for the, the shoe. I'm talking almost two thousand dollars for it, and I was like, nah, I just I just couldn't do it. I could do it if I wanted to, but I just couldn't do it. I was like, nah, this didn't make sense to me. So thank goodness they came back out with these, and as you can see. They are identically the same. Nothing's changed. The color is there. Um, it's popping like it used to pop. Um, you got the KD35 right there on the tongue, if you can see that. You have the Nerf logo right there. You have the KD logo right there in the back heel area. See your fluorescent like green Nike Swish right there on both of the toe boxes. Your side netting, all that stuff is still the same. Uh, your adaptive fit technology and the straps, that's there, if you guys can see that. And like I said, I mean, it's, it's still a beauty and I am so ecstatic to have them. You got the Nike Swish right there on the insole. You have the Nerf lettering right here on the insole of this particular one right here you have your blue laces that came with it just like uh the old model or og model i should say and as we get to the bottom same thing as the old ones were you had barbara you had tony man right there on the bottom you had stay focused right here work harder right here you had Seat Pleasant on the heels of both shoes, which represents the area that Kevin Durant is from and was raised. 
And if you look closely here, you have the signature of Kevin Durant on the shoe as well. Wow. I mean, this, mm, mm, mm. I don't know what to say, man. I'm just so, so happy that I was able to add this shoe to my collection, as you can see. Whew, didn't know if it was going to be possible. Uh, it's taken them, what's that, um, over 13 years for them to release this again. I just want to say thank you, Nike. I really appreciate y'all for releasing this shoe again. It's been 13 years, and I didn't know if it was coming back or not. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to show y'all the basketball. And also, I'm going to show y'all the hoop that I put up in the room. And again, those were additional accessories. They did not come with the packaging this time. All right, here's a world round view of the shoe. Dope. All right, let me get that Nerf ball for y'all. And here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Nerf ball that I ordered. And it's kind of crazy because it actually matches the green <laughs> on the inside of this box, right? How ironic is that? <laughs> Just wanted to show y'all. All right, y'all, let's see if I can get that shot all the way across the room on the Nerf hoop. And I did it. <laughs> yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs>